Color exists only in our minds. The physical world consists merely of electromagnetic waves between 400 and 700 nanometers. When we call a leaf green, we are describing how it reflects wavelengths around 550 nanometer while observing others. Our brains transform these wavelengths into the sensation of color. This transformation happens through cone receptors in our eyes, with most humans having three types tuned to red, green, and blue light. Our brain combines these signals to create the full spectrum of perceived colors, for instance, producing yellow when red and green cones are equally stimulated, even though no yellow wavelength exists. This system system varies dramatically across species. Bees see ultraviolet light, dogs see fewer colors with their two types of cones, and mantis shrimp with 16 color receptors likely experience a far richer color world. The constructive nature of color becomes evident in visual illusions like the dress controversy, where identical wavelengths appeared as different colors to different people. Some colors, like magenta, don't even exist as single wavelengths, but are purely neural constructs. Others, like reddish green, are forbidden by our neural wiring. This raises intriguing questions. Do we all experience colors the same way? Could your red be my blue with no way to detect the difference? Color perception reveals how our reality is not a direct window to the physical world, but rather our brain's interpretation of it, a beautiful illusion that helps us navigate our environment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.